What's happening everybody? We are back for week four of the pre-season vlog. Today is a match day, so this is going to be a good one. Um, I'm going to take you through what I'm eating, how I'm preparing, blah blah blah. Hopefully we don't fucking lose, or else I'll look stupid. Anyway, game is at 3 o'clock today. I'm going to have my first meal now. It is 9 o'clock, so I'm going to show you what I'm having. I'm going to make some protein pancakes. I'm going to give you a nice recipe here. Okay, first step, almond milk. 200 ml. Step two, oats, 120 grams. Step three, one banana. Step four, 6, 1 egg, 2 chocolate protein powder, Jesus, 1 scoop of protein, blend that shit up. Okay, next step, butter in the pan. Then with your mixture, small amounts, don't go big, just go small. Look at that there, they look fucking class to be honest. Um, Gonna eat them, having a wee bit of turkey bacon as well, and then I'll uh, talk you through some pre-game nutrition tips, and we can chat a bit more about them. But I'm just gonna enjoy these here myself. Okay, this is what we got in the bag, packing up, getting ready to go. Boots, Predator, Power Sword. Have you ever seen a nice pair of boots? I highly doubt it. Boots in the bag. Next up, gloves. Crazy gloves. Makes you catch the ball one percent better. Which I need. Uh, shorts, Under Armour shorts, socks, change of clothes. Now a couple of secret weapons for you. Keep these ones to yourself. Hydration tablets. Instead of you down in like fucking two or three liters of water before a game, we hydration tablets just in a normal bottle of water. A lot more effective. They're in. Second thing. This is maybe a wee bit out there. Caffeine chewing gum. Now you just be careful with that one, obviously if you're not very tolerant to caffeine you'll get a good buzz, but you can just take it before a game, take it at half time, it's an easy way to get in caffeine without having to like fucking drink coffee or something like that. Um, so that is the bag ready to go, the game is up in Garvahi in Toronto, I think that's their centre of excellence, so it'll be good getting a look around there. Um, I have to go into the gym now, I've got one other wee secret fucking tip here to show you, so going to get through that there and then... Uh, Hitting the road. There's some uh, a few wee tips for pre-game nutrition, how do you plan it out? I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. So here's a couple of easy tips. Now the big thing and the key thing when it comes to game day is timing and timing your meals. Oftentimes what'll happen is people will eat too close to the game and feel terrible or else they too far out and they'll uh, not have any not have any energy for the game. So you're trying to clear up a few things. So always work back from the game, work back in like three hour blocks. So Here's my game today, it's at 3 o'clock. Going back then to this next main meal, say at 12, and the other one which I had breakfast, say at 8 or 9. So, going back in blocks of 3 or 4 hours gives a lot of time for the food to digest into your system. It means you can get in there and get ready to be used. So, looking at the first meal here, it needs to be a majority of carbs, that's going to be your energy source for the game. So, a good half of your plate is going to come from carbs, and the rest is going to be proteins and fats. So, when you're looking at my meal today, there you had majority was carbs from the oats and the banana, bit of protein with the turkey, and then the fats just coming through the egg, coming through the butter that you're cooking in them. Um, and I'm having that about eight or nine, that's gonna be my biggest meal of the day. When you go down to your next meal then, so say 12, you want to be probably half the size of that meal there. I've tried to represent that in my drawings, but it's maybe not too good. So this meal here, having the 12, so probably about three hours out from the game, it's gonna be a smaller portion than this one. It's going to be a majority of carb and a small amount of fats and proteins. If 
fats and proteins are going to do a wee bit harder to digest than the carbs, um, so really you don't want to eat too many of them. So um, probably what I will go for will be um, maybe like a yogurt, but a fruit, something like that there. Um, but it'll be it'll be a lot smaller from that meal. Um, I don't want to go into a game feeling too full up, and really prefer to feel a wee bit hungry. That's just me. Um, another important thing when you come down to this last meal and this meal is the type of food. So. Uh, foods that are like liquid or semi-liquid, so say for example like a yogurt or like an energy gel, those things are going to be easier to digest, so thinking about maybe having them closer to the game, which will mean they'll get in the system a bit quicker. So last thing, if I was going to take anything, would be 60 minutes out from the game, I'd be taking some sort of liquid or semi-liquid carbs, that could be like a Miller rice, it could be an energy gel, caffeine gel, and that's going to come here. Just a few easy tips, so biggest meal, start of the day, have it in three hour blocks until the game. Next meal is going to be about half the size of this one. Majority carbs, then you're going to have one more before the game. 60 minutes out. Now if you have an evening game, that's obviously going to change. So just keep working back in those three or four hour blocks. So there's some tips for you. So last thing now before I leave for the game, i am uh, got these Air Relax on. These are like the compression boots that go on your legs. They are they're really good, like um, if you've never used them before, it's a very weird feeling, but see for a game, leave your legs feeling great. And I've got a bit of a long journey to do to get there, so um, I think it'll be nice just to, just to have these on before I have to sit down for edges in the car. But yeah, that's me ready to go to this game now, so hopefully I don't fuck it up. So we uh, won, pretty, uh, won pretty convincingly. Which was good. Um, first game I've played in a long time since we got put out of the championship, so um, I felt pretty good. A wee bit rusty shooting. Missed a shot, which got a lot of laughs, and uh, a few passes went astray, just a wee bit rusty, but overall feeling pretty good. Um, had the GPS on. No, good game. I was pretty happy with, happy with it now. Um, it was just good getting playing again. It's hard to beat uh, playing a match. It was good crack with everybody as well, so... Yeah, pretty, pretty helpful. So 8.9k worth of distance. So I think that's pretty good for the first game back. I'll take that. 7.15 meters per second. Slow as fuck. I need to improve on that. And uh, 38 sprints, 1200 meters of sprint distance. So good amount of sprints. Top speed was poor, but yeah, overall pretty, um, pretty happy with that. Just gotta get home now and get working. Garvahi, Toronto Center of Excellence, great spot. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you. So that is the day finished up. Um, had some coaching there tonight, it went good, we had some good sessions, but yeah, I was thinking a bit more about the game and um, yeah, I think more in hindsight, I was, I was happy about it. I actually scored a goal on point, which Virtually never happened, so that was a positive. Team played pretty well together. We got rusty at the start, but I think the more we're going to do it, the better we were playing. Um, so we play another game now on Thursday, and if we win that, then we go to the Sigerson weekend. It should be a good crack, but we need to win on Thursday. I think we play Cavan team. But uh, yeah, I think I was happy. Like the top speed, I wanted it to be higher. But I felt like throughout the game I was moving pretty well. Um, I thought my runs were good and strong. Fitness-wise, I felt fucking great. Um, covered a lot of ground and felt really good. So work we've been doing up to this point has been good. Um, but uh, yeah, it was good getting playing again. I was happy about it and enjoyed it. So um, yeah, tomorrow is a big training day. I'm not going to bother taking you with me for it because you have seen enough of it. I'm going to do some upper body lift in the morning, some yoga, and then some MMA. And then we've actually got McGee training again tomorrow night, but it's going to be late. So it's going to be a heavy day tomorrow. Wednesday's going to be a day off, and then Thursday we have the game again. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll maybe put this out on Tuesday or Wednesday. And then we'll see if we won the game then or not. But, yeah, good to get back playing again. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Enjoyed that one anyway. See you in the next one. Like, subscribe, do all that shit.